Hi, this is Auto House Hamilton TV, and I'm James, subject to terms and conditions. In this video, we'll be looking at anti-roll bars, or sway bars, or anti-sway bars, or stabilizer bars. Let's have some titles here. Sway bars are not technically absolutely necessary. Without them, your car does not turn into a lethal death trap. Sway bars, despite being invented in 1919, were pretty uncommon in passenger cars until after the Second World War. Before then, cars had relatively stiff suspension. After the Second World War, suspensions and people got softer, and with the softer suspension came body roll. Sway bars, not surprisingly, counter body roll. The beauty of sway bars is that they allow the suspension to be stiffer when it needs to be and softer when it can be. And this is because sway bars stiffen up the suspension in reaction to uneven suspension movement. When the vehicle encounters an obstacle that is even across the axle, the sway bar does nothing. How does this black magic work? Sway bars connect the left and right side of the vehicle's suspension to one another via drop links. Drop links connect the ends of the sway bar to a moving point of the axle. For instance, as here on the rear of a 911 SC or Carrera 3.2, at each side of the car a drop link attaches to the trailing arm and to the end of the sway bar. The sway bar is held in bushes, which allow for a relatively soft cushioned attachment of the sway bar to the car. The bar itself is effectively an additional torsion bar spring. Now, if the car rolls over a bump in the road, that affects both wheels to the same degree. The sway bar has no effect. But when the car is cornered enthusiastically, the sway bar <coughs> springs into action. The vehicle is being turned to the left and Sir Isaac Newton pushes the car over to the right and creates body roll. The car is being turned to the left and leans to the right. On the right side of the car, the suspension is being compressed. The sway bar resists that lean by transferring force to the left-hand side of the car and reducing body roll. The car corners flatter with better body control. Most cars will have a front and a rear sway bar so that roll is controlled at both axles. Our hypothetical 911 is no exception. Depending on build year and options selected, the front sway bar could be 20 or 22 millimeters in diameter, and the rear bar could be 18 to 21 millimeters in diameter. As you might expect, a beefier sway bar provides more body control and allows for less roll. And it's not only sway bar thickness that makes a difference. Adjustable sway bars use the lever effect such as on a 996 GT3. The effective stiffness of the sway bar can be changed by con connecting the drop link to effectively shorten the lever end of the sway bar. Moving the drop link to the outside of the sway bar softens the sway bar. Installing a single sway bar, say at the front of the car, will generally improve the car's handling by sharing grip between the inside and outside wheels. At some point, if we want to continue improving handling, it will be necessary to add a sway bar at the back of the car too. At some point, adding stiffness to one end of the car will have the effect of transferring grip away from that end of the car. And now we're into the realm of balancing the car's handling. This is also part of the reason why a stiffer sway bar is not necessarily better. Here is where things start to get tricky. Once you're past the initial benefits of adding a sway bar to one end of the car, generally speaking, stiffening the sway bar at that end of the car while leaving the other end untouched has the effect of transferring grip away from the end of the car that has the stiffer sway bar. And now we have a can of worms well and truly opened. Changing sway bar stiffness, front and rear, can alter a car's handling balance. A quick refresher at this point. A car's handling can be neutral, or the car can understeer, or it can oversteer. Understeering 
is what happens when you apply a steering lock and the car doesn't turn as much as you're asking it to. Oversteer is what happens when you apply a steering lock and the car turns more than you expected it to. And neutral steering is what happens when the car turns exactly as you expected it to. Simply put, understeer means you travel forwards to the scene of the accident. Oversteer means you travel backwards to the scene of the accident. And neutral handling means that you arrive side on at the scene of the accident. The real trickiness is that sway by choice is just one of the tools at your disposal for changing available grip. Tire choice and tire pressure also make a huge difference to grip. Spring rate and shock absorber settings will also affect grip. We're dealing with a system and systems are complex things where elements interact, sometimes in counterintuitive ways. Using metal bars as sway bars is all a bit last century though. Current Porsche models have optional Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control. Hey hey, we've got another anagram, PDCC. PDCC is different things in different models. In the Panamera, PDCC uses electromechanical activators to create an active anti-roll bar that has a sway bar in two pieces with electric motors to move each half as required. In the Cayenne, the system uses hydraulics to move the halves of the sway bar or on uneven ground to separate the two halves to allow for maximum suspension movement. In the 911, the sway bar drop links are active with hydraulic actuators in the sway bar drop links to add stiffness when required. Not clever enough for you? Some manufacturers, <coughs> McLaren, have already gone even further and done away with the sway bar entirely, replacing the shock absorbers and sway bars with an, electro with an electronically controlled hydraulic system that handles the tasks of dampening the suspension and also controlling body roll. So that's sway bars, the third element of a car's suspension, and a slightly counterintuitive way of shaping your car's handling. In the next video, we'll take a look at control arms. As ever, thank you very much for watching. Well, that's just f- <gasps>